What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Kaguya Sama Lovers War Ultra Romantic, this time with episode 10. Very excited to get into today's episode and continue this culture festival arc we started last episode. I uh, especially love the end of last episode with Ishigami asking Subome out, um, and hopefully we'll be seeing the uh, the kind of um, date, <laughs> the, uh, um, I think it's like a horror house. Uh, I don't expect it to go all that well, but I mean he's got this far, so uh, things are going really well for kind of everyone at the minute, even uh, Kaguya and Shiragane. Um, even though they haven't had too much interaction, they had a nice little tea segment last episode, there were some uh, very strange customers there, but uh, make sure you let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions, and let's get right into this episode, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Again, very hyped for this episode. Very hyped. I'm hyped for every episode until the end of the se uh, this season, to be honest with you. As much, as good as the uh, the first half was, again, I think the second half is just going to be uh, nuts, isn't it? Also, really loved the Maki segment we got uh, with Ishigami. Felt really bad for her though. I think uh, I got not a bad impression of her when we kind of first the first couple of interactions, but she seemed a little bit kind of mean. But I think that was just maybe me just misinterpreting things a little bit. But yeah, she was um, yeah she was really nice last episode. Again, feel a little bit bad for her during this event. The event of love, and she's uh, she's been a third wheel the whole day. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm prepared now. Again, I'm really not, I really don't think Ishigami's taken her to the best date place. They both love horror, so maybe it will be a really fun time, but but I'm not sure if Ishigami likes horror. I'm not really sure. Which could be his downfall <laughs> if he doesn't. Okay. This part of the attraction. <laughs> well, she reminds me a little bit of Palm from Hana. Hana. Sniff him off. Oh. oh wow, she actually did get Kagia to go with her. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and so it happens. To protect your ears, of course. Oh, they've got a good fucking show going on here. Of course, there's going to be. We're going to see uh, the operation behind it, hey? <laughs> We're screwed. Fucking cafes, man. Japanese love their cafes, don't they? Better the English, I think. Not quite the same type of cafes. Do you know what? I haven't really visited too many kind of horror houses or anything. Watched a lot of movies, but I've never had too many experiences. Not sure how good I'd be. <laughs> yeah. We saw how embarrassed she was earlier on, so. Mickey Hara. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Hypersensitive. Fuck it out. There's some really good ideas they got going on here, haven't they? I mean, why is she actually holding scissors? <laughs> Oh shit. Why is she so serious? She's scaring me a little bit just being herself. Wow. <laughs> Slightly get intimate. Oh my god. I saw it, you know, in a light there, which I don't think I've, I'd ever even imagined. <laughs> that was pretty nuts. What was wrong with this girl? Is she the same girl from the board club? Board, uh, the board game club? Maybe she is. She seems like that kind of crazy, but um, maybe not. Not from you. <laughs> she loves heavenly boys. It's fucking a little bit, but it's still creepy, which is good for a horror house, isn't it? So, damn, you've done a really good job with this. They had to do. <laughs> so she has to go through that all again. They don't really have to have her there, do they? So these guys haven't gone in there yet. I was going to say, we haven't actually seen these guys' reactions to all that stuff yet, have we? I don't think she's going to... Ah, man, I can see it now, can't I? I can see it now. I have a feeling that she might not react. In the manner he wants. He's probably going to be quite calm, I imagine, if she likes this stuff so much. Hopefully it's a good time either way, though. I mean, that, it, it doesn't all hinge on that fact, does it? Who the hell's still in there? Oh, God, really? Here of all places? <laughs> Hopefully that fucking happens with Ishigami. Oh no! Oh, lines, thank god. Wait, does that mean they can go together? <laughs> that face, man. That fucking sucks. Well, it looks like they didn't get to go together. Wow. What, a, what the fuck? What a weird thing to have separated. What a weird thing to have separated. That sucks. Moha? The fuck? Moha. Shiragano. Yep. Now you're really asking for it. <laughs> oh, God. He stinks at a lot of stuff. Yeah, I guess that's a I guess that's actually more of a compliment in that 
in that way. He worked hard to get better. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, she has no idea what actually goes on. It sounds good, but... That only makes sense, doesn't it? She's protected her little sister from, uh, from some of these horrible experiences. How oh, is he here? We're just going to make him look bad now, are we? <laughs> oh, that's almost how you do it, Shogane. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Now that face is creepy as fuck. Oh shit. Nice. He's gonna do four? That's good to see what side her sister's on. <laughs> Ah, so he's got a, a history in the family of juggling. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Sticky. Oh, wow. He really is shining today, isn't he? <laughs> I guess he's on kind of high alert because of uh <laughs> I hope she did actually just say that I hope that was in her mind but um yeah I think he's probably on like high alert because of uh obviously the situation uh, and Kaguya and the end of their time but that was a uh, couldn't really think of a better impression he could have made to be honest indeed he is Oh, she even got a gift for him. But yeah, this is the uh, this is the danger. That's cute though. <laughs> Tainted. Just get rid of them all, shall we? I was gonna say that I was I was hoping Kaguya might say something about that rather than just diss Shirogane earlier, but no, she uh she gets over the age gap but just goes straight to Shirogane is just absolutely useless. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> In spirit. You love his grades. Look just guys. Hey fever's getting a little bit uh crazy this time of year. Exhausted eyes. Yeah, that's probably what I'm looking like right now. The fused. <laughs> she does actually, doesn't she? So I think she's enjoying this now. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah, it's a little bit of a bubbly moment, isn't it? <clears throat> I know, right? But the realization will will probably kick in at some point, won't it? Yeah, maybe maybe she doesn't feel too uh, threatened. What does that say? Descent into gore averted. Something of a psychopath. Hmm. Interesting. She doesn't really seem like a psychopath. Oh shit. She really got affected by that. That was the opposite of what I was expecting. Yeah, something a little bit better. I think we didn't really get to see any of that. I think we're maybe actually glad because it seems like it didn't go well. Obviously, they didn't even get to spend the close time together but oh shit nice shot okay let's take this opportunity then we're taking the big cookie, aren't we? No, we can't. <laughs> Just as a matter of fact, no, we can't. Everyone's watching. Yeah, of course they are. So you've given her a heart. <laughs> Oh shit, does he not realise? Oh my god, so he's the 10% is he? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh man. I'm sure he was aware. She took it. Wow. Let's go. I think that's good. I think that's good. Again, I'm not sure. <laughs> he doesn't know, so. Fuck, it's bad that he doesn't know. It's really bad that he doesn't know. Oh, man. Fucking hell. Again, apologies, guys. I was just going crazy right now. Oh man, this is bad. Yes, especially in front of all those people. That That's the bad thing for me. I mean, it really shouldn't matter. People say you shouldn't think about what people think of you, but there's a room full of people right now just that put their full attention on this. Yeah. I mean, that's not guaranteed to be the case, is it? That's what a normal person would think. 
but I'm not so sure. <laughs> well, good chance. Good chance for that. I think that is true, isn't it? I think that's happened to me before. Start looking at the floors before anything else and you can quickly get overtaken by them. So it's not the best thing to do, I don't think, but it is the natural human reaction also, I do think. It's got loads, everyone's got loads. I think the end of last season was a bit of a success. He didn't win that race, did he? But it was a personal success I saw it as. <laughs> Industrial waste day. Point addition. Well, at least we got a little compliment out of her. Yeah, let's hope so. Of course we're going to look after him. Exactly. Brothers. This is the end of the first day. <laughs> Cotton candy is yum. I didn't get any of those. Except cotton candy is yum. <laughs> I might just go back and uh, have a read of those afterwards. But yeah, great episode today, wasn't it? Not what I was expecting to see. I was actually expecting to see Ishigami and Subome in the horror house, but we ended up seeing Maki and uh, Kaguya in the horror house instead, which I think was probably more fun than what we uh, what we would have got with Ishigami and Subome because again they got separated, so it kind of sucks. But at least he um he kind of half done something with her, I guess. He won that game, but he didn't really realise what he was doing, so it wasn't really a win at all, was it? It was a win. But it wasn't. <laughs> like he's got no idea what's going on, so he doesn't even know if he's been accepted or rejected or even that she's thinking about that stuff right now. They even realise everyone in that room is staring at him because they know what's what it means to give a heart to someone. That's what happens when you're uh and you're flustered and anxious about that kind of stuff though, isn't it? You can overlook things. Really fucking awesome though. She accepted it almost straight away. I think that just shows how much of a lovely person she is. But the fact that she's thinking about it maybe makes me think that it might um might be an unfortunate no. And I can't imagine what that would do to Ishigami. I'd hate to see that personally. It is a realistic outcome. Again, with uh, what Chica said at the end there was actually very spot on. If, it depends if she goes about it in a positive or negative manner. She looks at the flaws or she looks at the positives of being with Ishigami and which one outweighs which. Someone stole all the balloons? Are these are reporter girls. <laughs> Is that Chica's group? Able Top Game Club. I think that might be Chica's group. I think that might have been the crazy girl we saw earlier recording the earphone stuff as well. Again, I'm probably wrong, but yeah, that was an awesome episode, wasn't it? Again, just going to do a few pauses here to read what was said. Again, apologies about the fucking touch of my eyes. Uh, make Shinomi a confessed plan in progress, indeed in progress, and a lot of it seems like it actually relies on Ishigami now from 
Shiragane's way of thinking. I wish he didn't think like this. I wish he didn't think that it all hinged on if Ishigami gets accepted or not. Because again, it, the likely case is Ishigami does get denied, and then his confidence is going to go way down as well. And again, like uh, like we saw there, Kaguya's will have Kagi will have one of those kind of um, red flags saying, "Yeah, I, I can't end a relationship if one of my good friends has just been heartbroken." What was Miko's? Planning the campfire event. Yep. Still got that to come up. Haven't seen a thing about that yet, have we? Uh, except for the planning of it. Waiting for the result of his unwitting confession. Again, I feel bad for him not knowing that he's just confessed. <laughs> but it's, I guess it's a little bit of a blessing in disguise because you kind of do it without realising. You, you won't be too mad if, uh, if it's a yes or a no because you didn't go through all the hassle of kind of thinking about it too much, although he has thought about it a lot up until this point but i guess that's the hardest part done without realizing and uh, what was this last one considering whether or not to confess or she is yeah thank you guys for watching um again awesome episode awesome episode again not what i was expecting but uh in a good way um again i think it was uh, kind of more fun the way they uh the, the way they kind of changed up succeeded my expectations is, uh, is a good way to put it but um yeah a lot hinges on this kind of ishigami subome thing again I, I kind of think it's maybe like a 70 30 split that she's going to say no uh 70 percent in favor of no I think I just get that feeling just because she uh, she ran away and she's got some things to think about. She did accept the heart real, really quickly and um, it, it seemed like she accepted his feelings at that point but um, then she kind of had a switch of thought and had to think about it so um, I, I, might, I might be looking too deep into, <laughs> into the situation but um, Chika as, as harsh as you put it, it she is uh, the princess of the uh, third year so um, you'd think it'd be very hard to pull someone that's that good of a pull. Um, Again, anyone can do anything. So again, I, I've got a little bit of a bad feeling. I hope it. I hope it. Go, she says yes, and I hope it goes well. But um, again, realistically, it's not really in his favour. I'd fucking love to see it, and I'd absolutely hate to see him rejected. So um, either way, I think it's going to be a very crazy couple of episodes coming up, isn't it? Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this episode though down in the comment section. Uh, leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy the video, and subscribe to the channel if you do want to. Uh, keep up to date with any of my reactions though um i'll definitely be back next week with episode 11 so hopefully join me for that one enjoy the rest of your day guys